back in 07, 08, um, my two nephews from another state were put into foster care, um, the DCF there. Uh, my husband and I were asked to adopt them. So we decided to adopt them. We knew that there were problem, problematic behaviors for years prior to that, um, which was part of the reason they were taken initially from my sister. So um, behaviors did not manifest early on. There was a good honeymoon period um, before the, the anger and violence started, um, followed by stealing, uh, lying, cheating, um, and rage with the youngest one. Um, he, it, he was, he became very threatening and we tried our best to deal with his behaviors and uh, we had a lot of in-home treatment and it was one after the other after the other. Uh, fast forward it to the, to the present, we now have cameras in most of the rooms. Um, our, our bedroom door is locked. Um, the aggression came, uh, um, got worse and worse to the point where at one point, and, and my, my, my younger bio son and me, um, the both of us were, have been his kind of targets when he's angry and gets r enraged. And um, there was one time that he said that he was going to take one of the knives and he was just going to um, stab my head at night when I was sleeping in my bed and I would never know it. He would just come and just kill me. It's, it's ridiculous what we've had to go through just to parent these two children. Um, DCF has not have has not been helpful. Um, to say that you feel like you're not believed, they tell you. <laughs> Basically, they don't believe you. We were told that whatever the children needed, that would be provided, no matter what the care. And that's not true. We have wanted always to get the treatment that he needs. Um, just fighting for a proper diagnosis was an issue. Um, he is diagnosed reaction attachment disorder, and um, and there are not many places, if any, in the state of Connecticut that aren't ex extremely expensive um, that really deal with complex trauma. All along, we've we've had the uncared for petition as the only way that he can get into any placements is that means that um, a petition against us the, as a parents would be filed by the court and um, DCF would take custody. My background is in social work and I actually b began my career many years ago as a DCF social worker. So I have a background in from different perspectives. One is a DCF social worker and um, trying to help families and one is the family member that needs the help. Um, and it's shocking to me, shocking to me um, how little the DCF social workers can really connect with the families that they help. We are now faced with having my son taken into custody from DC, by DCF because we can't afford the care um, that he needs and it almost seems like when you're complaining too much you have you have no other choice but to have custody removed because after all they've done everything to help you we've had every service that I know of every service that many of the therapists have even told and we've never stopped with therapy we've never we've always tried to get what he needs we were told in the juvenile court by the guardian ad litem that if um, we can't get him into this care or that care, we'll just file a petition, an uncared for petition, where DCF would take custody. And I said, no. I'll, and I was assured by the guardian ad litem, don't worry, it's just standard. Um, you know, it's just a way that DCF will be able to get the federal money to pay for care. 
and um, it happens all the time and it's nothing on you it's, it really doesn't say anything to uh, about you as, as parents and um, that's not true had we been able to get the appropriate complex trauma therapy earlier then he might have been able to attach but at some point you have to think okay things are not working there is horror in the house I mean, to be afraid of your, for your own life. How, how many people experience that on a daily basis? To live in an inpatient jail that you always have a key in your pocket so you can get into your bedroom. Um, is, is that normal living? Is that what foster care and adoptive parents should expect? I don't think so. And DCF isn't listening.